Yo guys, what is up? This is Tom from Unreal Madden. Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to create mushrooms with the differential growth plugin. You can download this in the description and then just go to edit preferences and click on install and install your zip and then check this checkbox at differential growth and this should be ready. Then let's delete this and add a circle because we need this for the base of the mushroom. And then click E to extrude all the faces, S to scale and zero. To scale them to one point and then click M and merge by distance. So overlapping vertices get merged. And then for the plugin to work, we have to add vertex groups. So let's add one and let's call this growth and then select all these outer vertices with shift alt and left click and then go to weight paint and you can see nothing is assigned it's all blue so the weight is zero and then let's go to edit mode again and click assign so the vertex group is assigned and we have the weight one at the outer edge because here the weight is one two of course you can change this but i will leave it like this and then go to this tab and to differential growth. And first let's actually add a subdivision surface and then go back. And if you click on differential growth step, you can see how this slowly changes. And let's do more. And we got this very weird shape now. Of course, you can change things like the split radius, repulsion radius and stuff. And if you click on growth direction, minus is to the bottom and plus is to the top. So if we maybe type in plus five or just five, this grows to the top more than to the bottom. Okay. And of course, with control Z, you can undo this. And let's just type in one and that's okay. And I want to adjust the noise factor and noise scale. So let's decrease the noise scale and increase the noise factor. Also, let's increase the split radius and decrease the repulsion radius and see how that looks. And we get this very weird growth and let's scale this on the Z axis now. So it looks like this currently. Okay, I think this looks very nice and strange. And add more subdivision steps here. Shade the smooth. And let's actually click on Auto Smooth too. And we got this very weird shape. I like it very much. And now we can go to the shading. Let's call this material Mushroom. And I want to make a nuclear like glowing mushroom that's very stylized. So I got this leather texture here and I plug this into the base color. Actually, we need to unwrap this first. Okay, so it's unwrapped. It looks like this very, very strange. And let's scale this up a bit. Yeah, this is nice. And the texture kind of reminds me of truffle. Let's actually add a solidify modifier so this is not so flat. Okay, very nice. And then mix RGB and a noise texture because we're gonna add some emission here. So let's plug this into the emission and make the first color black and the second color green very bright green like this okay and very saturated and adjust the scale let's let's increase the detail to two and decrease the roughness to point one now let's add some distortion okay and in between press shift a and add a color ramp So you can adjust the emission.
OK. And now let's press Shift A and search for Mix RGB and connect these. Then let's search for Magic Texture and plug this into the factor and plug this into the emission again. And the second color will be black or just the color of your choice. Of course, you can make it gray or something or even white, but I will leave it at black so I can add more detail. I scale this up now like this. So it's more detailed now. And I think this looks really fine. And I think I want to do too is add another mix RGB node and search for ambient occlusion. Then plug this ambient occlusion into the color and click on multiply. And then you can adjust the value. I will just leave it at one like this. So I have a bit more shadows. And let's increase also the strength of the mission and go to rendered mode. It looks pretty nice in cycles and in EV we can preview it with bloom. Okay. Let's actually set the value to 20. And I think this looks very nice now. Okay, so I got this nuclear barrel here and let's make a little scene out of it. Okay, I know how to arrange it now. So let's scale this down and make the camera resolution 2000 by 2000. So it looks like this and then press N, go to view and camera to view. And you can adjust this now. Okay, and let's actually scroll out and make the focal length higher. Okay, I think this is fine. For the next step, go to Edit Preferences and search for Scatter Objects. Enable this and then click on your mushroom on the barrel and, and then F3 and search for Scatter Objects. And then you can paint on the barrel here. I think this is okay. And adjust the scale a bit, density a bit less. And I think this works fine. And yeah, it looks like this. And add a plane a bit lower. And adjust the scale of this. And let's give this a grass material. And I imported this grass texture for the ground and also a normal map. So let's search for normal map and plug this in, of course, as non color data and decrease the specular value. Then we can also change the scale to something like three plug this into the normal two. And then we need to add grass. So go to the particles, hair, and this is on the wrong side. So let's click on mesh, normals and flip and the normals are flipped. And add a vertex group and call this grass. And also we have to subdivide this first. So let's say 100 subdivisions. Now we can go to weight paint and paint around the barrel like this. So we have grass on this areas. Now we can go to the particle system, scroll down to vertex groups, density, grass, and the grass will only be applied at these areas. Let's increase the number to 20,000. Let's change the length. Then advanced physics and add some Brownian. I think this looks pretty nice. And then let's add some children simple and this looks fine 
and make the size and make the size more random. Okay, this looks fine. And now let's go to shading world and make the background color black so it's night. Then go to the mushrooms again to object. And I want to add more emission. So these are very, very bright. Let's make this like 200. I want them to glow. I will put the light source to the front and make it a bit darker. So like 500 watts. Now it's actually a bit too bright still. But 300 works fine. And then let's add some bokeh. So depth of field. Let's adjust the focal distance. 15 is okay. And now we can render this at 128 samples. And this is the final result. So I hope you like it guys. If yes, leave a thumbs up. If no, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.